hi guys i'm back with another video so i want to come talk y'all about something like i posted something on youtube as a post and i said happy black history month and i like really hurt my feelings not so much for me but just how people can be people can be so disrespectful and so mean and just don't even care first of all i'm upset like because what the stuff that was being said I'm already upset because I got a whole lot of stuff going on. My pops passed, I had a cousin that passed, my uncle passed before that, and I just had a cousin that passed again. So that's four people, like, right back to back. So, you know, I'm on edge. I'm ready on go. I'm go. I'm on go, like, anything, like. So I've been trying to chill. I've been trying not to do too much. I ain't been posting too much. I do little small stuff here and there because I just can't deal with certain things. So I'm going to read some of these comments, and I'm going to let y'all know how I feel about it. I took the post down because I'm like, why i mean look at me i'm a black person obviously one person say says the non-black person to my comment next person says she might be part black next person we don't consider part black to be black any black is black even if she wasn't black, she can still say happy Black History Month. Exactly. Why are y'all here? Why are y'all hating? Not hating, but she wanted to come on here and act like she cares. I wanted to come on here and act like I care. As if to say I'm not a black person, for one. Then, as the other person said, even if I wasn't a black person, I still can say happy black history month. I could be talking to everybody else. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that you're saying, oh, she's not black, for one. For two, she might be half black and all of this kind of stuff. For one, main thing is, I am black. Everybody know I'm black. Everybody is a different shade of black. And I'm not even light skinned, I'm brown skinned for y'all to be talking junk. My mom is black. Her mom and her dad is black. Her dad is light skinned, but he's black. Her mom is brown skinned. She's black. My dad is black. His mom and dad is black. Y'all seen pictures of my mom and my dad, and I look like my mom and my dad. My siblings were all different shades of black. And for somebody to come like that, it didn't so much bother me as much as it, for me, as much as it did thinking about other people and other, you know, how they go through things. For y'all to say this, like people, I'm going to give an example. Somebody that is, their parent is white and their other parent is black. So they're half this and half that. If you look back in the day, if you're half mixed with black, guess what? You're black. If you got a drop of black in you, you're black. But it's always the ones, our own people. Like, why do we do this? Our own people. Well, I'm not going to say everybody, but a lot of our own people do this and like, oh no, you're not part of us because you're not completely black. But the other people, that's how they see you. They see you like you got any drop of black in you, you're black. So say like back in the day, as a black person, a white person, they have a child. What is that child going to be considered? Black. Say like that child now that is half black and half white, have a child with a white person. So that child is, what, one-fourth black, right? But guess what? They're still going to be considered black, no matter what. If you, have a, if you have a Mexican person and a black person, they have a child, that child is going to be considered what? Black. You have an Indian person and a black person to get, they have a child. What is that child going to be considered? Black. Anybody that has a child and the child parent is black in any way the child is black so stop with this stuff and it makes it so hard us as black people we already go through a lot of stuff as it is as black people to turn our backs on somebody that is mixed with something else they're still black no matter what they're still black that's what like really hurt me coming for me oh she part black no i'm black my mom and dad is black but for those of uh Though, you know, those people that one parent is this and one parent is black, they're still black. And we need to unite and realize that and stop pushing them off because 
they go through just as much stuff as we do because guess what? They're black. Because with them, for example, half black, half white, it's the black people saying, mm -mm, you're not black enough for me. And it's the white people saying, oh, you're not white enough for me. They're going through it just as hard. Like, are you serious? If not harder at times, because they got both sides pushing against them. Then they got to go find themselves like, okay, nobody's claiming me. But for y'all to say that mess to me, and I know it was people because it wasn't even people that normally comment on my stuff. It was somebody that probably been lurking and hating the whole time. Or somebody just mad that day and came on there and just started something. And once they started, everybody else started. Like, have your own identity. Like, stop copying what everybody else say. Because a lot of times you look at comments sometimes. One person says something, everybody else want to go with the narrative. Or everybody want to be part of whatever it is that somebody else said. Be positive sometimes. Like, but just that alone says the non-black girl. Who's the non-black girl? Please show me her because I would like to see her. Like, because uh, that's not me. I'm black. So get it right. But anyway, happy Black History Month. And y'all didn't want to come on here with all the negative comments under there. Just don't just don't even come on here. Don't comment. Don't comment because I don't need it. I don't need it. But those of y'all that's got some kind words to say about the situation. Y'all comment down below. Tell me how y'all feel about it. If it's anybody out there that's going through that situation, comment. Us as black people, comment. Talk about what's going on because that's a real problem for me. We got a lot of other stuff going on being black people. Like we're already stressed with a lot of stuff that they're doing to us. But then to go against another black person, oh, says the non-black person. Really? But anyway, I had to come on here and say something because I took the post down. I was going to write up under what people were saying. But I was like, nah, I'm just going to make a whole video of it because I don't feel like going through all these comments. That way y'all know what I got to say before y'all even comment something negative. Don't do it. Because any comments I see that's negative, I'm definitely going to erase them. But anyway, happy Black History Month. Love y'all. Y'all stay tuned for more videos. I just had to vent a little bit. Like I said, I've been going through some stuff. And then for them to say that, it just top the cake and y'all for, forgive me talking like this y'all know i got my retainers in so y'all know how that work i get to sound like i'm about to spit and stuff for those of y'all that don't watch my videos y'all probably want to know this i had to say something for y'all go saying why does she have a list i have retainers in but anyway i love y'all so much thank y'all so much for supporting me in every way possible y'all have been supporting me on my hair videos my videos you know while i'm sad or i'm going through some stuff or i just want to talk i just want to vent all of that i love y'all Thank y'all for watching and be blessed.